<sighs> Things that I do for my channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing, continuing our Godzilla backwards review with Godzilla vs. Hedora, my least favorite Godzilla movie of all time. So, um, let's start out with the story and then we will get on to the pros and cons and then we'll give my final thoughts and things of that nature. So, um, the movie starts with a really weird intro like showing pollution in the ocean and the Save the Earth song which is the really annoying. It's annoying. And then uh so basically it start the movie starts and it shows uh this scientist guy and so this guy came up to him uh and he's a fisherman and he says, I found this weird fish um and so the scientist goes outside, he goes in the, he, he, he dives into the ocean, and he starts looking around for stuff, and his son is out there, um, who's a little kid, and he's like a six-year-old, and he has, he is an interesting character, but he has a terrible voice actor, and his shorts are too short, um, but yeah, it's, it was kind of a thing back in, then, uh, supposedly, but yeah, so, um, but as the guy's underwater, the kid sees the the Hedora swimming up to him, and he's like in his he's like the size of a couch, I guess, like a whole couch set. Um, I know that's weird sizing, but he's like the size of a couch. Uh, yeah, and and he's coming to him, uh, and he jumps up, and the kid sticks out a knife, and it just goes like, and then. Uh, Next, next thing you see, you see, uh, you hear a splash, and you see Hedora just swimming back. It's a really weird scene, um, but yeah. So then it shows the diver in the water. It shows all the pollution under the under the ocean. And it, this movie, they're really trying to make a political statement about not to pollute and stuff. And it was a '70s movie. I mean, it's not bad, but. This is a really bad movie. Um, the, the, the statement wasn't bad, but yeah. So anyways, the Hedora swims up to the diver and somehow it injures him because next scene you see uh, the, the I, I don't remember his name, but the guy, uh, he's, half of his face is like black and looks like ash. It actually, it actually looks like Two-Face, but yeah. So um, then there's these reporters and they're taking pictures of him and stuff and uh they're asking him questions and there have been other things uh because of what the TV said on the news there have been other things going on with like uh boats and things of that nature sinking uh you know and then and then long and then a little bit later uh the main character's other son Ghost is is at this dance party or whatever, and uh, they're dancing and stuff, and it's weird. Uh, later, I guess it, there's a weird scene. It it really freaked me out when I was a little kid. But yeah, so the, but I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, then Hedora comes ashore and he starts sucking the uh, pollution out of the polluty pumps or whatever, I don't know what they're called, but, um, so yeah, then the sludge starts going down into the place where they were dancing and stuff, and then the guy, I, I, I guess he's drunk or smoking something, and he's, next thing you know, you see everyone's, like, fish heads and dancing around, like, in swing music, it's the creepiest, weirdest thing, this movie's so trippy, and I, I hate this movie, um, but yeah, then Godzilla comes and they have a weird fight scene. The fight scenes in this are weird and not that good. It's a really bland and dull, dumb movie. Um, and yeah, then uh, they stop. Their Hedora escapes uh, after Godzilla shot his atomic breath at him, and then Godzilla leaves. And then uh, the scientist guy he got some samples from uh, where they were fighting. 
and he finds out that two of the little tadpole micro being I don't know microorganisms they can blend they can go together and become one uh, and that's how they expand so he then he figures out that if you take the the tadpole organism stuff from Hedorah, um and you fry it with uh, an electrical something I, I don't know what it was but it was uh, like like if you fry it with electricity um, then it'll die it'll like die pretty good yeah it'll die pretty good <laughs> that's a weird statement but um, then uh, the the main guy's son his kid goes and he's driving around um, and the next thing you know out of nowhere the sludge starts coming down from his window um, and he him and his friend get out and there's the there's a giant hedora just sitting on the cars slurping stuff up it's weird how the monster can just come out of nowhere um, and then later you see him Hedora turn into a flying uh, thing. It, it's flying, flying saucer form, as they call it in the movie. I just call it the flying form. But um, so the people and stuff, they're like running away and look. Or, or some of them are just minding their own business. But as Hedora passes, um, they all just like fall down and die, and it's really gruesome. It's not a kids' movie, even though back then this genre was going towards the side of kids liked it more it's really gruesome and it's not <laughs> is it like I was creeped out by this movie when I was a kid and yeah so then Godzilla shows up again and they have a small battle uh, and then so the flying indoors flying around everywhere and so the son he, fi he finally says like well the door is gonna kill us all so Let's have a dance party on Mount Fuji, because why the heck not? Um, and they do that. They're expecting millions and millions of people, and um, they only got a hundred. So while they're there, the the scene is like gray and stuff, and everyone's sad and like mopey. Um, and then the one of the guys that finally said, "Well, wasn't there supposed to be a million people here, or something like that?" And then the guy's like. He strums his guitar and everything goes into color. And he's like, why not? And he's like, well, we're going to die anyway, so why don't we have fun or something like that? And so they start playing music and light a bonfire. And it's they just start dancing to swing music and, you know, 70s dancing. Uh, and then Hedora shows up and they're like, okay. So they start throwing... Uh, they 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 take the tor they take torches and they start throwing at him and it does absolutely nothing and then it Hedora he now now he's in his big form and then Hedora squirts them with like sludge and a bunch of them just die off like like that um, and then Godzilla shows up and they have a f pretty big fight scene um, at one point Hedora throws Godzilla into a ditch and. Um, he starts like spewing uh, sludge onto Godzilla in the ditch and it's really actually that was the best part of the movie in my opinion uh, for some reason uh, it's just really weird and nasty though um, but it's funny because Hedorah he just starts laughing he, laughing, he goes like <laughs> like you go like <laughs> um, yeah Hedorah's weird but anyways so uh, let's see Oh yeah, so they then they stumble off the cliff and fight more and stuff. And the fight scene is actually really dull. I mean, that was the best part of the fight scene, honestly. Um, yeah, then a long time later, um, Godzilla eventually gets Hedora to go fall to the army's trap. That um, so you remember the science, the scientist guy? How I told you that he made if you take these two panels and you electrify them, they'll like shoot electricity in between them. Um, well, they finally lure Hedorah into that, and it fries him, and then Godzilla, uh, he pulls out his eyeballs, and then another little Hedorah 
pops out and he turns into his he, he knocks Godzilla down and he turns into his uh uh flying form and he flies away and then Godzilla this is one of those most what the heck is going on scenes in Godzilla history um this movie has so many just shocking moments in it like just random trippy weird stupid moments um I cannot think of three off the bat but anyway so Godzilla uh he puts his tail under his legs and he jumps up and he shoots his atomic breath like and he goes like this and he starts flying off and uh yeah and he chases after them it, it's like a flying battle I don't know what the heck but uh yeah so he finally knocks into Hedora and Hedora he, he beats him up again then he brings him or I, I don't remember what happens but he he finally gets Hedora to go back in between the electric shocky things um, after this long, long fight scene and stuff, and it's not even a fight scene, it's just, I mean, the most they do is, like, punch each other, um, yeah, Hedorah also has a laser beam in his biggest form, and his flying form, where, at the top of his eyelid, so, you know how Hedorah has his eyes like this, like, he looks like that, well, right here, he has a laser beam, so he goes like, Bzz weird it, it's a weird place for his eye beam he's like superman but it's at the this part of his eye it's kind of weird it's also kind of cool though um that part of him is kind of original but anyways so they end up frying Hedorah again for good and then godzilla he starts ripping him apart and shooting him uh shooting him with atomic breath so he doesn't come back again uh and then basically it's the end of the movie so but at the end of the movie it says and yet another then it shows Hedora peeping his eyes out of uh the ocean so yeah they were gonna make another one but uh yeah I'll tell y'all that in a second so next let's get to the pros and cons of this movie which I really hate this movie like I, it made us it may have sounded like I kind of liked it in the review but I was giving it too much like when I was talking about the story I was giving it too much I don't like this movie at all like I freaking hate this movie least favorite Godzilla movie of all time I've always hated it so much some people I've seen I don't know whose it was but someone made a review and it was their they did a top 30 I think it was Goji Fan 1993 and he put Godzilla vs. Hedorah at number 8 and and Godzilla's Revenge at 1 I don't I mean, I understand Godzilla's revenge, but, like, why is Hedora so far back? I, I don't know. All right, well, let's get to the pros. Uh, there's, like, a very few. There's plenty of screen time for the monsters, even though they're just... Most of it's just them walking around or being slow and stuff. Uh, Hedora has a pretty cool-looking form, and finally, the last one, it's the monsters. So... Monsters, uh, the suits, uh, yeah, Godzilla, Godzilla has his Godzilla vs. Gigan suit, actually I think this is the movie, no, it was the movie before this that it originated in, uh, Godzilla vs., no, Godzilla's Revenge, oh, I, th I think, I think that's where it originated, it may have been Destroy All Monsters, but yeah, so, uh, there's that, and then there's Hedorah, who has a cool roar, he has, He's a really creepy monster, um, multiple forms, it's cool, he, well basically he can change from his, um, his biggest form to his flying form, and he has that laser beam, he can, when he flies, he, he can send out this gas and everything, um, on the ground just dies instantly, and I think his final ability is he has... He can sludge on things, and he can shoot sludge. Um, yeah, so Hedorah's pretty cool, but his movie just sucks badly. This movie's horrible. Like, good. Uh, okay, so let's get to the cons. Uh, let's hate on this movie pretty hard. Um, too many scenes without dialogue is something I noticed. Um, actually, this, is, this movie has the least amount of dialogue in it. 
the music is horrible. Uh, there's liter there's like literally minutes upon minutes of uh, pollution footage. Like most of it's like in the ocean, but literally there's a scene where it just shows it for minutes. Um, another funny thing is when Hedor Hedor is in his flying mode and he's in the city, he flies past um, this. Uh, construction building and another thing is there's only one construction guy on it and before he comes the guy just jumps off it's like this movie's gruesome um but also um as he flies past the it starts crumbling but there's no sound it's just crumbling the whole scene is just it crumbling without ma it making any sound and it's also really awkward because it's like a 12 second scene without any sound at all like, I don't know what happened, but, yeah, so, uh, yeah, too much, too much, like, yeah, stuff like that. There's, the characters are really bland in this movie, like, no interesting characters at all. Um, there's a forced, um, pollution message, which, I mean, pollution is not bad to talk about, but when it, if you're putting it into a, a movie with a big fan base, then they're gonna hate it. Like, I I uh, I think that's one of the things that ruined this movie. Um, aside, beside from the director, um, I think they were on, like some kind of they were smoking something when they were making this. Obviously, but yeah. So, uh, child actor, like I said, um, it's it's one of those horrible child actors. Two with short shorts, and uh, he he has a terrible voice. Not as bad as Godzilla vs. Megalon, but this one's pretty bad, too. Next is, uh, this movie is actually really creepy. Like, as a kid, this movie would creep me out. Like, I, like, I remember one time I wanted to watch this movie. Like, I don't remember. I, I think it was just because I hadn't seen it in a while, and I was like, Huh, I forgot what this movie was like. The first scene when it shows the, like, uh, the dead sludge and stuff, um, I was just like, and I just turned it off and stopped watching it. Like, that, that's how bad it scared me. Like, the first, I, I didn't last, like, the first couple seconds. I could watch it with my family, but I, I think the first time I watched it wasn't that creepy to me. I was just like, huh. But now I'm like, this is horrible, like, gosh, this really is, and one of the biggest things is the trippy and weird scenes, like, um, the, the, the first one, the random scene where it just, it jumps out of the water, and then you see it back in the water again, and it just swims off in the beginning of the movie, um, another thing is how Hedorah just comes out of nowhere from, yeah, another part is, I didn't say this, but the kid is on the, Oh wait, oh, I don't have enough time. Okay, it's, I just realized it's like 18 minutes, so I was going to talk about all the weird things, but yeah, most of y'all have seen this movie, so if you haven't, it sucks, don't watch it, unless you want to watch every single Godzilla movie. Uh, I don't know. If you really, really wanted to watch all the Godzilla movies, then yeah. So I would give you my final thoughts, but since I'm running short on time, I think you guys already know this movie sucks in my opinion, um, sequel, they were planning on making a sequel, um, but it didn't happen because the director, they didn't want him or something, they wanted him to do Godzilla vs. Megalon, because they didn't like this one, uh, they were also planning on doing a Godzilla vs. Hitota movie, which, Hitota, I think, is some weird star thing with an eye in the middle, um, and it was gonna be connected to Hedorah, I believe, uh, the scripts are on Toho Kingdom, so if you want to check that out, go ahead, uh, and remake. I think if Toho did a remake, um, it would be a lot, I know it would be a lot better than what it is now. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, I hope y'all enjoyed, um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video, sorry about that, I'm just kind of, I, 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 Sorry, I, I filmed this like, this is the third time I filmed this, so I'm a little weirded out right now. I've been talking about this movie too much. I don't like it, but 
yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, make sure to subscribe to Lords Master 11 and Kendall Williams. So I'll be seeing you all later. Bye-bye.